Hello, welcome back to the place that has the most blood in the Wild West. So, from what I understand, this pool is feeding the statue. Don't ask me why or how. Oh no. So, this statue is actually dropping blood from this side to that pool. Hmm. And also, the smaller statue, the smaller moth piece over here, is dropping blood into the big pool. So in turn, I guess he's dropping blood all over the place. <laughs> oh, didn't... Well, this is what I don't like about some vampire movies. It seems like blood is their food, yes? So why do they continue to waste it? You cannot eat more than you can devour or digest. Why do I need to go over here? I guess the answer is I don't need to go over here. I see, you need that to open the gate, okay. Gotcha. Hey, that butt is not, is not doing its job, it is not <laughs> providing blood for the mechanism. We are a unique species, brothers and sisters. We are not bred, we are not born. We come to life when we accept the gift of change. Our powers are many and they have... Sorry, Arnold, uh, you might listen to that another Jesus, time. it's huge. When did they build this? And how? And why? <laughs> the more important question is why? What was that? I don't know, the aesthetics in the game are beautiful, but the darkness sometimes is working against you. I guess they had a little snack over here. Everything is so red over here. Ah, this would have been such a good place for a secret, but I guess you are here just to look at the crazy stuff. Let's look at it again. It's so crazy. Yeah, the developers had a lot of imagination. I'm already tired of this place with the caves, with the blood. So, no, I think they are ticks. Let's call them ticks. Yeah, I always forget this. That's the first thing I'm... What? No! 
that's the first time the first thing I'm killing those floaty guys no that's so annoying you don't really have a lot of space to move well let's do it the cinematic way Oh, I almost got stuck over there. So apparently my playstyle is to shoot them because melee doesn't really work very well because if you get into melee combat the enemies will just attack you and as you can see in 2 or 3 deaths you are in 2 or 3 hits you are dead. I find that the bitches looks even bigger up close. Well, let's crash their little party. Oh so it's a upside down pyramid type of deal, okay. Nothing here, apparently. Last letter, right? Right. We consider ourselves proud hunters, predators. But that pride sometimes prevents us from growing as a species. Internal divisions have weakened us. Yeah, you cannot be too proud to evolve. Yeah, whatever. Melee is so deadly on this difficulty. Come on, don't fall around. <laughs> I guess we are really in the temple. Enough. Your lines first to all out war with the humans endangers us all. Peace of Navana. Without the shoe. The wolves go hungry, yes. The day is coming when the sheep will outwit the wolves. Haven't you been watching, brother? The humans have harnessed the power of steam and lightning, and they grow mighty. If our hubris allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows, they will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. 
And so, you propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguasuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. But you are on the top. <laughs> Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition, I can tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. I will not allow even your bastard greed to, to lead us into annihilation. Gita Daval, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind. I sentence you and your line to the true death. I told you, Father. They wouldn't listen. We had to try, Felicity Mikara. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... Then... We... FORCE THEM TO! They don't seem impressed by your... ...threats. <laughs> Hello. Don't mind me, continue. You just walk up to the vampire. I don't think he's a regular vampire though.
What? You got to be joking me. What's this nonsense? I got it once and I died. <sighs> oh, come on. Oh, so stupid. I almost killed them and then I died because I got hit by a little thing in the last second. Okay. I didn't even realize I slow HP or something. This is very unfair in my opinion because I was not even close to him so I guess he damaged me at some point with that attack and I was not looking at my HP because I was avoiding all attacks. No, I don't understand. He's not even close to me when I'm trying that. Oh, come on. So basically, I wasted 10 minutes almost because I wanted to play it super safe and I didn't take any risks. And he still got me.
Okay, that was tedious. I mean, it was, it was not so hard. I just don't understand why I got killed the last time. The first time, I mean. I was so close. Think you could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. <laughs> By the way, the vampire is still alive and we're just decapitating it. I don't know why we do these things. <laughs> Should have asked him how to get out of here. Too late. He won't be of any use for a month or two. Wait. What about Chester? Well, what are you gonna do? No, oh, so I think he just lit the fuse for Chester. How you shape an explosion. Damn, we're late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> So I guess he lit the fuse for Chester or something like that and then he came to help us because he, he thought we might need backup. Okay, that's pretty funny. Or at least that's what I think it happened. He just detonated Chester's explosion bombs on him. And that was basically the introduction to the game. It's not so bad. I think the last fight could use some tuning. It's very easy. That's a new way to spend taxpayers' money. They just got killed by... James Harrow. I don't know what. The people's hero. <laughs> I heard the White House sends him golden toilet paper. As long as he keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. I think we used about 200 bullets in that fight. It was crazy. Feed him well. We've got a lot of ground to cover tonight. Yeah, lucky horses. You're not staying for the presentation? The whole institute is in town. Oh, this guy also has a hat, but he doesn't like to wear it for reasons. Another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up and starts cursing us all to high hell. Great, so I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon? Tell him whatever you want. Fine, skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final drink with me after. And this is what I don't understand about the game. Why is it so important that this guy retires? He speaks so much about his retirement. So that's the second chapter. This is the third chapter we entered. And I guess we missed some money. We missed two bags of money in that one and well, I guess we can go to lore all the time and see how much money we can get from a certain location we got all of the lore okay well I searched everywhere and I guess I guess some of the money will be so hard to find you'll not even think about it but to be honest that's okay it's not a 100% run because it's uh, invisible walls It's going to be very hard to get all of the money, and besides, I don't think you need much more than you usually get. I'm more curious about the level up system. Because this is not a regular level up system, you don't have a lot of enemies to kill unless you die a lot of time, so... I'm not sure about this, you cannot farm more, at least not to my knowledge, we'll just have to see if we can farm or not. Life goes on, we stand guard at the gates. We're in 1893. So yeah, I'm not sure about the experience thing because unless we can farm more, the game has open areas. It's not an experience based system. You just advance through the chapters. Well, it is pretty impressive. America. <laughs> in case you forgot in what place you are. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have time to do a lot more, so let's just enter the... Mr. Rent here? At ease, boys. My father in his office? He is. Where is your pistol, man? 
Where are their pistols? <laughs> they are only allowed to carry their rifles. Yeah, we'll play a little more. Here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure it's worth it. Veil of secrets. <laughs> Can we kick him? <laughs> kick him? Okay, okay, let's not. Rifles. Oh no, it's rifles. files. Mr. Rentier, you remember me? I don't remember who am I. From my first year of cadet training. And I'm the shortest one of the bunch. But the very next year I grew like a weed. I had to buy all new pants. And I guess that's an achievement, buying new pants. Director Rentier sure looks edgy. Something's up. I can smell it. I don't think you can smell it. No one can smell away this ambush that is prepared for us. <laughs> I saw what's going to happen next and doesn't make any sense to me. You'll see what I mean. I'll not spoil it. no expense to improve those gauntlets. Officially, they called it a cholera epidemic, but truth was the Lincoln the terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute. I guess they really made it look very flashy. Edgar and my father in the Civil War. No, oh, Edgar right is here. Before the bloody Battle of the Wilderness. Yeah, the game has its own agenda apparently about vampires and other stuff. <laughs> Heavy as hell. Good for 1883. Or 1883. I don't know, I don't like to pronounce the numbers as American numbers. Just pronounce them as they are. Thought you got bitten by some tick. Some of those fangy fellas were hiding out in Providence. That's why the president ordered the Western border. Oh fangy, he said fangy. I think a lot of people will hear other stuff. I guess you're missing two lore notes and a lot of money. How did it go? Did you get that big fangster you were after? And I guess this is everything we can collect for now. Hmm, I guess all of the money is hidden somewhere else. <laughs> See your site adjusts. Although it's a very sudden thing, it's not smooth. Let me check if there is anything else over here, but I pretty much look at, looked at everything. Okay, see you next time. Bye!